Hello and welcome to Error Genie. In this video, I'll show you simple step-by-step -step solutions to fix the issue when STLKER2 Heart of Chornable won't launch from the Xbox app or Microsoft Store on your PC. Let's dive in. Step 1. Check Xbox Live status. Open the link in the video description to access the Xbox Live status page. Ensure all services show as up and running. Green check marks. If you see a yellow triangle or red icon, Microsoft is experiencing issues. Wait until the service is restored. Step 2. Disconnect unnecessary external devices. Unplug extra peripherals, such as HOTAS, controllers, or multiple monitors. Restart the game after removing unused devices. Step 3. Close background apps. Open Task Manager. Right-click the taskbar or press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC. Identify apps like Discord, GeForce Experience, or any third-party overlays. Right-click each and select End Task. Step 4. Perform a clean boot search for system configuration in the Windows search bar. Go to the Services tab, check Hide All Microsoft Services, and click Disable All. Restart your PC and launch the game. Step 5. Repair Gaming Services Use the Gaming Services Repair Tool. The link is in the description. Download and run the tool. After completion, restart the PC and try launching the game. Step 6. Update your graphics drivers. Visit the website for your GPU, NVIDIA, GeForce drivers, AMD, Radeon software. Download the latest driver for your GPU and OS. During installation, select Custom Installation and check Perform Clean Installation. Step 7. Verify and repair game files. Open the Xbox app. Right-click the game, select Manage, then go to Files. Click Verify and Repair to fix corrupted files. Step 8. Reset the game app. Go to Settings, then Apps. Then Installed Apps, Windows 11, or Apps and Features, Windows 10. Locate the game, click the three dots, and choose Advanced Options. Use the Reset and Repair options. Step 9. Reinstall the game to a different drive. Uninstall the game from the Xbox app. During reinstallation, choose a different drive, example, from C colon to D colon. Step 10, sync time, date, and region. Open settings, then time and language, then date and time. Ensure set time automatically and set time zone automatically are turned on. Click sync now. Under region, confirm your country is correct. Step 11. Run the WSRE set command search for WSRE set in the Windows search bar. Run it to clear the Microsoft Store cache. Step 12. Uninstall and reinstall gaming services. Open PowerShell as administrator. Run these commands provided in the description. To uninstall, copy code, get AppX package, gaming services. All users, remove AppX package, all users. To reinstall, copy code, Start MS Windows Store, PDP, Productive IED, 9 Mali PM2CQNLHN. Final step, update Windows. Go to Settings, then Windows Update. Install any available updates and restart your computer. By following these steps, you should be able to fix STALKER2 not launching. If it helped, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Error Genie. Got any other issues? Drop a comment, and I'll see you in the next troubleshooting guide.